Africa work. Barnaby Jack had a great day. He's a Kiwi computer genius who's been living in America working on hacking into ATM machines, truly. And this week he totally stole the show at a major computer security convention in Las Vegas by demonstrating his rare and rather naughty skills on stage. News of Barnaby's work has gone totally global. This has never been done before anywhere in the world. And it took a Kiwi to do it. That's good, we think. So I've been, uh, I've been researching ATM hacking for the last couple of years. So I took uh, two ATMs on stage in Vegas. Uh, one of them I walked up, made it dump its entire dispenser on the stage. And the other one I essentially did the same thing, but I did it without even touching the ATM. Okay, now, now Barnaby, this is not a trick, right? This is not an illusion of some sort or an elaborate piss take or viral marketing or anything. This <laughs> is, you are really doing this. Yeah, this is 100% legit. Uh, I mean, the vendors, the manufacturers of the ATMs, they know about it. Um, they have fixes in place, thank God. So, yeah, it's uh, it's 100% serious. Right, right. So, so, so in simple terms, what are you doing? You obviously have dissected these machines and you understand what makes them tick. But what are you saying to them? How are you talking to them? Right, so... Uh, all the ATMs, uh, you know, so they dial out to make a transaction to connect with the bank processor, right? But they also have a way to be able to dial into these machines. Um, so if you want to manage your ATM remotely, so you can, uh, you know, you can retrieve the settings of the ATM, change the splash screens and all that type of thing. Uh, generally, to be able to access these machines, you'd need a combination of passwords. But I managed to find the bypass, which would let me get... Uh, past all these passwords, let me access the machine, and then let me upload my own software onto the ATM, which completely overwrites the software that's currently on it. So of course my own software would then allow me to dump from the dispenser, capture people's credit card details, uh, retrieve it, and I can do this all remotely from, you know, from your hotel room or your bedroom, whatever it may be. And now, now I'm sitting here kind of giggling away at this, and people are going to be appalled, but we need to tell them you're a good guy, right? Because you are doing right. this to prove how vulnerable these machines are and to say, up your security, everyone. That's why you're doing it, right? Right, I'm definitely a good guy. And the <laughs> thing is, um, so, you know, when you, think about, when you think about ATM security, you typically think about hardware measures, right? Uh, making sure the ATM is bolted down yep. properly and skimmers and, you know, RAM raids people and physical theft of the ATMs. You don't typically think about the actual software that's on the ATM machines themselves. Uh, so, but the thing is, and this is the first time um, that this type of attack vector has been publicly released. So, you know, you have to release these threats to raise awareness and actually um, spark solutions to the problem. Is it true that you were going to do it at the same time?